find him complaining, the steady idiot is no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. It's just no problem. Can he carry a heavy load? No problem. Can he drive safely down the road? No problem. Can he go long distance? Can he drive all night? Will you make sure the delivery gets there all right? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. It's just no problem. Steady Eddie is always ready to make that delivery on time. Doesn't matter if it's raining, you won't find him complaining. For Steady Eddie it is no problem. No problem. No problem. It's just no, no problem. problem. It's just no problem. No, I can no do it. Problem. I really can. No problem. Absolutely. It was a lovely sunny morning in the depot, and Steady Eddie waited for his morning delivery. Where is Freddy Falkliff? he asked. He's late, and if he's late, then I'll be late, and Steady Eddie is never late. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure he'll be here soon, replied Loretta. All of a sudden, there was a rattling and a clattering heading from the warehouse. Mind your backs! Looted Freddy Falkland as he shot out the warehouse and squeezed his way between the trucks. You're late, said Eddie, as Freddy pulled up between the two lorries. Am I? said Freddy Falkland in surprise. I'm sorry, must have forgotten. Never mind, I'll have you loaded in double quick time and you can be on your way. He whisked back across the depot into the warehouse. It wasn't long before Freddy Falkland had found what he was looking for. Thanks of wood, a large hammer, and lots of nails. <laughs> For Farmer Kelly, so he can fix up the old cattle shed. And with that, he picked up the planks of wood and headed back out into the depot. Coming through! <laughs> As he loaded up the wood into the pack of it, then off his shot back into the warehouse to get the hammer and nails. I wonder if Sarah and Michael are going to be at the farm. <laughs> what? Farmer Kelly's children? Asked Loretta. Yes, they're always getting up to lots of adventures. Come on, said Freddy, as he loaded the hammer and nails onto the back of Eddie. There's no time for gossiping. You've got a delivery to make, and you don't want to be late. But I was waiting for... But Freddy had shot back into the warehouse before Eddie could finish his sentence. Better get going, then. And off he drove across the depot, down the drive to the road. No problem. No problem. No problem, it's just no problem. Steady Eddie is always ready to make that delivery on time. Doesn't matter if it's raining, you won't find him complaining. For Steady Eddie it is no problem. No problem, no problem. Absolutely no problem. No problem. It's just no problem. Oh, driving no down the road. Problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. It's it's driving no is problem. no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. I can drive all night. I 
you for someone to come and find me for years. Oh, said Eddie, confused. Um, what are you doing in Farmer Kelly's barn? He parked there one rainy night many years ago, said Sarah, jumping out from behind Edward. But the next morning, he couldn't get started, and everyone forgot he was there, said Michael, popping out. Until we found him. Oh, said Eddie, in surprise. That's right. Forty years stuck in this barn, <laughs> on my own, without a friend in the world to talk to. Except the chickens. <laughs> Laughed Michael, pushing one off his bonnet. Chickens? Chickens? Oh, I hate chickens. All they do is peck at me and lay eggs where I don't want them to. I'm sorry about that, said Eddie. Too right, you should be sorry. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like you to tow me back to the depot and get me cleaned up, said Edward. No problem. Good. And, um, we can leave the chickens here, right? Uh, said Edward. Of course, said Eddie. Of course, said Edward. It wasn't long before all the chickens had been removed and the tow was a Steady Eddie started pulling Edward toward the road from the farm. Has, um, has much changed at the depot since I was there? Asked Edward as he was pulled along. I remember a large wooden warehouse and a, with a couple of sheds for the lorries. Oh yes, lots has changed. We have a big brick warehouse now and, and every lorry has their own garage. A garage of their own. Oh, what I would give for my own garage without chickens. I'm sure we can find you a garage. But first, we need to get you cleaned up, said Eddie, driving past the gatehouse and up to the depot. Oh, good, yes. Are um, Bert and Jeffrey still there with their, you know, brushes and buckets of soapy water? Asked Edward. Oh, I, I, I don't know anyone with buckets or brushes, replied Eddie. Well, then, how do they clean you? Well, we have a lorry wash. It's a big machine that you drive into. It has spinning brushes and lots of warm, soapy water. That cleans you. <laughs> do you think I could ever go? No problem, said Steady Eddie. And he took Edward straight to the lorry wash. Here we go. There's nothing I like better. Lovely 
fresh oil for you and some fuel. Uh, it won't be long before we get you going again. Oh, thank you. But, um, who and what are you? Oh, I am Freddy, and I'm a forklift, said Freddy proudly as he started pouring oil into Edward's engine. And, um, Exciting day, and well, I think it's time for a little shut eye. Shall we speak in the morning? Oh, that would be nice, said Loretta. Sleep well. Oh, good night, miss, said Edward. And um, I'm sure I'm going to be very happy here. You are, said Eddie. There's only one thing, though. What's that? asked Eddie and Loretta. 